What if I told you something you wear every single day, something you've been told is normal and hygienic, might quietly be sabotaging your energy, your hormones, and even your ability to have kids. Sounds extreme, right? But stay with me, because today we're going to uncover how a simple piece of clothing, underwear, might be doing more harm than good to millions of men around the world. This isn't clickbait, it's science. And by the end of this video, you'll probably never look at your boxer briefs the same way again. Let's start with a quick anatomy truth bomb. Why are the testicles located outside the body, hanging in the scrotum like two awkwardly placed ornaments? It's not bad engineering, it's intentional. The testicles need to stay a few degrees cooler than your core body temperature. Not too cold, not too hot, just right. Think of it as a biological Goldilocks zone. That cooler environment is crucial for two main reasons. Sperm production, testosterone regulation. And guess what happens when we ignore that design and push them back up against the heat of our bodies? then wrap them in heat-trapping fabric for hours every day. We interfere with that natural regulation and it can throw off everything downstream. Nature built a ventilation system, but modern life sealed it shut. Now here's the twist. Humans are the only species on Earth that consistently cover their genitals with clothing. Not for protection, not for performance, just social norms. While pants and shorts make sense, that extra layer, underwear, isn't always helping. Especially when it's tight, synthetic, or worn too long. Let's break that down. Most modern underwear, think briefs, boxer briefs, or compression gear, are tight-fitting, made from synthetic materials, like polyester, nylon, non-breathable. These fabrics and fits essentially trap heat and moisture, creating a miniature sauna around your most sensitive tissues. And like any closed, warm, humid space, problems start to grow. Imagine a place that's warm, moist, poorly ventilated, in constant darkness. That's a dream vacation spot for bacteria and fungi. What we call jock itch, or tinea cruris, isn't just a mild skin condition. It's a fungal infection thriving in the exact environment tight underwear creates. Add sweat, movement, and a warm climate, and it becomes a breeding ground. Other issues? Yeast infections. Yes, men get them too. Rashes, odors, irritation, discomfort during daily activity or sleep. The simple truth, we're suffocating one of the most sensitive areas of the body. And if you've ever wondered why down there smells funky after a long day, it's not you. It's the fabric, the fit, and the trapped sweat. Let's talk about fertility. Sperm production, called spermatogenesis, is a temperature-sensitive process. Even a Wantokotura greasy increase in scrotal temperature can reduce sperm production significantly. It's not a maybe, it's measurable. Studies show lower sperm counts in men who wear tight-fitting underwear regularly, reduced motility, ability to swim, higher percentage of abnormally shaped sperm. Translation, your body's sperm factory runs best in cool, breezy conditions, not in a synthetic heat chamber. Now this doesn't mean that briefs make everyone infertile. But if you're trying to conceive or simply want to optimize your hormonal health, this matters. And it's not just about making babies. The health of your sperm is a mirror of your body's overall metabolic and hormonal state. Think of sperm like the canary in the coal mine of male vitality. Now we hit the core of the issue, testosterone. This hormone isn't just about libido or masculinity. It's involved in energy, mood, muscle mass, bone density, cognitive sharpness, drive and motivation. 95% of male testosterone is produced by Leydig cells in the testicles. And guess what? They also need that cooler environment to function optimally. Chronic heat exposure, it stresses these cells. Over time, it can reduce their ability to produce testosterone efficiently. Symptoms of low T testosterone include fatigue, brain fog, reduced gym performance, lower sex drive. 
poor recovery from stress or effort. It's like running your body on power saver mode. You don't notice it right away, but over months or years, it adds up. So what can you actually do about it? Let's start with simple, low-cost changes. Switch to natural, breathable fabrics. Cotton, modal or bamboo are fantastic choices. Avoid polyester, nylon and performance blends unless they're moisture wicking and breathable. Rethink fit. Loose fitting boxers allow for airflow and natural positioning. Boxer briefs? Okay, if they're not too tight and made of breathable material. Tight briefs? Only when absolutely necessary. Sleep commando. At night, give your body seven to nine hours of cool, unrestricted airflow. This single habit can drastically reduce bacterial growth and improve scrotal temperature overnight. Stay dry. After a shower or workout, always dry thoroughly before dressing. Change into fresh underwear post-exercise. Sweat, microbe buffet. Go commando when relaxing at home. Loose joggers or shorts. Let it breathe. No need to double wrap when there's no real benefit. Look, let's be real. Underwear isn't evil, but blindly wearing tight synthetic briefs all day, every day, especially when you don't need to isn't normal. It's just common. We've normalized habits without asking, does this help my body function better? That's what this video is about. Not fear, not shame, just awareness. You wouldn't run your car with a towel over the engine. So why do we do that to one of our most important biological systems? Let's zoom out. Globally, male fertility has been declining for decades. Sperm counts are down by over 50% since the 1970s. Is tight underwear the main cause? No. But it's one of the many small stressors, like diet, plastics, lack of movement, and chronic stress that compound over time. Our bodies are trying to function in a world that was never part of our evolutionary blueprint. So when you make choices that support your biology, not just your social norms, you reclaim control. You give your body a chance to thrive. And that's not just about fertility. It's about focus, energy, vitality, confidence, all from something as basic as what you choose to wear or not wear. Before we wrap up, here are a few quick hacks. Use body powder. Talc-free powders, like cornstarch-based options, can help reduce moisture and friction. Choose pants wisely. Skinny jeans and tight trousers contribute to overheating. Looser cuts are not just stylish, they're smarter. Work breaks. If you sit long hours, stand up and walk around every 30-60 minutes to improve circulation and reduce pelvic heat buildup. Cold showers boost testosterone, support circulation, and reduce inflammation. Every choice stacks. And your body, it notices everyone. So here's the deal. This isn't about burning your underwear drawer or never wearing briefs again. It's about being conscious, understanding how your body was designed, and choosing what supports it not what works against it. You now have the knowledge, and that means you also have the power. Power to protect your fertility, to support your testosterone, to feel more energized, focused and confident, day after day. If you found this helpful, let's keep the conversation going. Drop a comment below. What's your go-to underwear style? Have you tried sleeping commando? And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more no BS science-backed health content made for men like you. Until next time, keep cool, literally.